Hello my friends, my friends. Welcome to this episode of Hiking Viking. I'm being driven by the one and only Pumpkin to the secret drop-off location and I'm going to do a secret shh, stealth camp. And this stealth camp is actually a continuation to the stealth camp what I have done uh, two times during the winter uh, the castle series is going on and um, I told you guys the next time we will see us is from Finland but before we go to Finland this one is coming out and uh, yeah it's gonna be hell of a ride you're welcome to join me <music> place and the castle where we are going is called Rosenberg and this is a very popular destination um, for tourists and local people who are coming over here with their dogs that's also the reason why we are now getting up here and not before Why did they always build these castles on these huge high mountain tops? Fireplace, fireplace over there, some benches, trash bin, which is great. Let's go to check out the ruins. Here we are. Okay, some, some wood to burn and the sun is setting over there. Here's some kind of uh, homemade teepee, I don't know what that is supposed to be. But yeah, looks looks quite okay here. But there is no like really, uh, you know, corner or shady corner where I could tuck in so that no one can notice me. I don't really know. Maybe here.
place is way, way, way too exposed for uh, for just you know camping, tenting, whatever. Uh, and still, even if I'm trying to you know camp here, I must do it very, very stealthy. It may be in that teepee over there or behind it. All right, here we are, and as long as there is some daylight left, I might uh, tell you something about this castle. This castle was built about 1150 and it used to belong to the same family, um, like the first castle where I was uh, visiting and uh, I made my uh, stealth camp during that one winter, um, family Rorschach, and I bet this was destroyed also like the other castles around here during the up and cellar wars or you know some um, it might might have been regional thing it also might have been a thing that uh, the angry peasants were uh, not so uh, satisfied with their situation and then they were like attacking the noble ones who were living here up on the hill this is called Rosenberg castle and the other one was called Rosenburg. The thing is, uh, they used to have, the family used to have in their, um, in their sign, they used to have a rose. And Rose, rose, you know the name of the flower. And uh, they used to have like in each and every one of their castles, they used to have a rose garden. I don't know where the rose garden used to be here, but... Uh, yeah, maybe we are going to find some roses. Who knows? I'm just looking at that teepee looking thing and maybe there's a way we can uh, we can tune it a little bit. Luckily I took this with me. What if we skip the baby? But this is too small for me. I can't. So it's way, way too small. This is way too small. This is way too small for me. But what I still might do is that I'm putting the baby behind there. Well, then I just slam the BB here and put the netting on it. That might also work. I mean, of course, if someone comes now or, you know, before the sun is totally down, then we have a problem. But then we have a problem. Fire we are not going to do. That's like asking for trouble. This uh, ionosphere from uh, Snugback is, is, is a rather simple one, easy one to put together. <laughs> it's crazy. As soon as the sun went down, the skeeters were attacking me and now they're all over. Yeah, I would have a thermocell in, at home, but yeah. Bringing it always with me, looking that there's enough gas, all that trouble. Nah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a baby night and <laughs> these clothes should protect me a little bit so what we're going to do now is cook some meal of course um, tonight's menu is my cooking pot my cooker my gas 
cause all that funky stuff. But we are having some mama noodles and I know you guys in North America, you call them, I think, ramen noodles. Although ramen noodles, I think they are a little bit different. They are even cheaper than mama. But that's what we got. And we will um, dope it up with some tune, some tune fish. And somewhere, I'm also having my beloved Tabasco and Aromat. I don't know, guys, if you know Aromat. This is like very Swiss thing. Swiss cooking is always having Aromat in it. It's like some spices and salt. And of course, never leave the home without this bad boy. While we are waiting, we might actually take a step two. Tonight's step two is here and it's Egger. Let's try to open this as stealthy as possible. Perfect. I'm gonna drink a little bit. Because I just love this tuna juice. Or water, whatever this is. And we're gonna put the tuna inside. Come on. Okay. Give it a stir and let it ooze in its juice. Yeah, by the way, the, the noodles are always having these kind of bags inside, which I'm always like putting there. Some uh, spices and stuff, some chili, whatever. I think we had huge luck that no one came here Usually this place is packed with people who come out with their dogs and the bad thing is usually usually the dogs they are free. It's time to put some aromat. What else? Of course we put Tabasco. We put Tabasco. Yes, 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 yes. A little more. Oh yeah. Mayo, 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 mayo. All right. It's really mayo. Is this good mayo? Looks a bit old. Well, you know. 
we'll see it tomorrow morning. <laughs> if this mayo is not good, enjoy your meal. Enjoy your meal, everyone. I'm going to enjoy mine. Oh yeah. <coughs> there is <coughs> enough Tabasco. Hmm. Where's my beer? This stuff is good. It has been crazy warm lately. Again, like, you know, I don't know, 30 degrees Celsius. It's too much for a white Viking like me. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Oh, yeah. I just saw a flashlight. And then there is someone or something is uh, stepping on dry branches and they are like breaking under footsteps. I'm going to leave the camera on for sure overnight, you know, the, the time lap, just in case something happens. There's another chopper coming. coming straight at us. So long suckers. I might be using this camera quite a lot now. I don't know, I feel somehow more safe when the camera is rolling all the time. I am afraid of no ghosts. No. It's other people I'm afraid of. Someone decides to come here in the middle of the night, especially since the uh, psychiatric clinic is not so far away from here. The psycho ward. Oh yeah, Halloween is coming again. Halloween. I must start to start to plan already what's going to be the Halloween special of this year. <laughs> All right, guys. Here we are in the baby. I can see the stars up there and I can hear the train driving by and I think we are going to get some sleep and wake up tomorrow morning with the sun. Good night. Catch you in the morning. Hello and good morning or night, whatever. It's uh, 5 45, something like that. And um, 
I can hear the traffic noises, I can hear the trains. It has been really cozy warm and uh, I have been watching the stars, which is great. So I can only recommend if you are going to sleep and you know that it's not going to rain, leave the rain fly away uh, as long as you can be stealthy enough, of course. I just saw a bat. Yeah, a fellow just came, made a small circle around my head and then it went back to the other side of the wall of the castle. Pretty amazing, pretty amazing. There's the moon. We are packing the baby right now. And after that we can just, uh, I guess, sit around like, you know, early bird catching the worm or whatever. I don't know, do I dare to stay here now? I could also walk down, go to the service station and get myself a morning tea from there. Staying here is Asking for trouble. All right, since the mosquitoes are eating me alive, it's uh, time to hit the road and walk down to the street where the pumpkin is coming to pick me up. Hey, I would like to thank you very much for coming with me on this overnight stealth camping adventure. And um, if you haven't, please subscribe to my channel and you can also put the thumbs up if you happen to like this video. And if you know someone who likes this kind of stuff, please forward and send, you know, it would be cool to have a few more subscribers. Next time we will see in Finland. You're welcome to join me there. Let's see what the trail brings, what the trail brings. Ciao!